Ah. Today is July 30th. We got on airplane yesterday, Friday, July 29th. And of course, the flight was delayed, but not too bad. We got to Whitehorse at midnight and we slept in the the airport. Our ultralight camping gear for the first time. It was great. We also bought bus passes on the phone app and got on a bus at 9.20 uh, by the airport and took one stop and to get to driving force uh, the other location other than the airport. Um, driving force is really nice. They they didn't have our SUV back because the the renter just didn't come back and then they didn't pick up the phone call. So they are trying to give us the, with the same price but upgrade to a half ton truck, which is very scary to me and I don't want to drive that. And it's very costly on gas and we're not really going on Dempster Highway so we don't really need a big truck. And I said, can I get a car? So I got a Honda Civic car and I might get a discount because of this. And then we got a car because this time we're going to Kulani National Park. It's not too far away, it's only two hours drive. So we got to, we got a rental car, drove for two hours and got to visitor center first. And their national park is really nice. They give all my all the information about the trails I was going to hike and the campgrounds around this area very in very much detail and give me the map and the trail information so they told us so our plan is to check out Kathleen Lake campground first that's my plan A plan B was to death dar death our death I don't know the lake's name, which is on down south on Alaska Highway. That's the second option, but then that one was already full. So we were down to the third option, Million Dollar Falls Campground, which is almost by cross, almost by the Canada U.S. border. And this area was so impressive, very very beautiful. Nothing I have ever seen. Very wild. And um, and we were just a little bit worried because we we didn't see the campground sign for a long time, and we don't have cell signal. And but by the end, we got to the wrong turn, almost stuck in the mud, got out, and got to the campground. And I was so happy to see their vacancy still. And this area is just very woody. Uzi and lots of bugs and this is our car over here at park like that and then it's like a garage and the other area is like our sleeping area and the picnic table is huge and the fire and then somebody set up the fire already and but I guess it's so hard to burn. You need really good axe to like chop the wood. But this time we're not, we upgraded everything. So first of all, we didn't upgrade the tent. Tent seems fine, I guess. And we bought $20 wood, wood watery pallet to spray the whole thing. And check out this. So mummy bag and ultralight sleeping pad and very expensive ultralight um, pillow inside, seat to summit and that's it. And I realized with this kind of sleeping system instead of um, air mattress, we don't really need three person tent anymore. Next time we're going to 
upgrade everything to backpacking level and so we'll buy maybe a North Face, Ultralight, two person um, storm breaker tent. This way we either buy a ground footprint with that same size or just take our the tarp we have. The tarp is the best but it's very bulky and not ultra light. So that we should have enough space inside with two person and two backpacks. And yeah. And today we have seen we didn't really hike but we have seen the most beautiful, most wildest places ever I have seen on earth. It's it's amazing and I've never seen anything like that and the trip is so worth it already. And my the best last backup plan was to go to Saint Elias Lake, which is um a trail. Um it's seven point six kilometers um in and out. So um less than four kilometers to hike in and check out the lake and you can basically tent uh, on the tent pad by the lake um, but to do that you need a permit you need to register in person in the visitor center before it closes which is 7 p.m. but also the registration system closes by 6 p.m. so we had like very tight window to come back. If if none of uh, the campground down south have any vacancy, we have to drive back to the uh, Olani National Park to um, register for the night and then take one water bottle and then somehow eat somewhere else and hike four kilometers with our backpack and tent and tarp um, hike in and sleep there. That's like a lot our last option because we're pretty tired and but we need somewhere to, to sleep. There are other campgrounds north of the visitor center north that's pretty far away. And one of them has like a tent restriction you have to tent inside of the electric wire so bears won't get, get in um, but we're really we're really happy we got this campsite and after supper we're going to go for a hike maybe around this campground or drive to the lookout spots but the weather doesn't look too good I just really want to have a video there it's just so beautiful um, so we also upgraded our cooking system. We're no longer needing fire to cook because sometimes the weather is not good. And we bought one very good camp stove, but we were scared that it might be taken away from the security at the uh, airport. Come here and bought a $20 wood stove. Like he is currently using, and we're thinking if we lose it, we lose it. It's not too bad. So today we went to a few places. Uh, Canadian Tire first, go stove camp, camping fuel, and bug spray, and then went to dollar store and got some match, which we don't need, and then we went to superstore which doesn't have bottled water and we just bought everything like cheap blueberry blueberries Chinese cabbage pepper and tortilla and a nun and olive oil we bought a good one so we can drink more and yeah we're gonna use this woods pot for the first time it's really exciting and we bought the Walmart doesn't have a lot of Chinese sauces, so we bought hoisin sauce. This is for cutting, 
and looks like it works good. That's exciting. We're cooking for the first time without fire. And we bought two of the fuse, so we have enough. We can cook as much as we want. This Jeff is working. I'm really excited for the trip, but this is so much for today. I'm gonna enjoy the food. Also today when we were at uh, Salesforce, a uh, driving force and a group of people who just finished the trip and asked us if we want a bear spray. I was really, really happy to get it and I'm gonna give it to somebody else because we can't take it on airplane. I was like worried because I thought, how can I get a bear spray and not waste it and throw it away? So uh, there's really no options to buy it and or rent it. But then I found out at Hans Junction Village Bakery and Deli, they would offer you to $55 to buy one and return you $25 if it's not used. The mountains are very beautiful. Um, heard this lake is very shallow. It's the warmest lake. In the hottest day, you can even get to 18 degrees Celsius. And this place is pretty windy. That's good because there are very few bugs. It was, we just went to Lake Elias. It's a two and a half hour hike. And it's very easy. And there's a back camping tent spots. We couldn't, I didn't do it, which is good. Yesterday, we were trying to stay in this campground and it was all full. And there's a uh, group camping by the shelter. And well, it's good we didn't stop because after a while, it was. We went to Million Dollar Falls Campground, which is the best. And it's better than here, because it's further away. Also the drive there is breathtaking. It's so beautiful. It's nothing I have ever seen. But too bad I couldn't stop, take a picture, or just have a close look at the view. But we have good enough view. And Key is cooking at the campground. We're having onion, cabbage, tomato soup, uh, or wrap stew, and it's really good. Uh, cabbage, tomato, onions, and uh, pepper. Are we having wrap? Yeah, we're going to have that. This store is perfect. Nothing wrong with this. It's uh, August 1st. Uh, last night we came back. We did a hike. Um, three hikes. St. Alias Lake. We drove from Million Dollar Falls. Um, so that was on the way. Um, Million Dollar Falls was very good. We got water from the fall, and yeah, so use that water to rinse our hands. This whole time, it's very good. We even used the live straw to try it, and water tastes good. And then we came down also on the way to Glacier Rocks Trail. And that was really, really good. The best view ever. Kim followed the way to a uh, visitor center and got gas from Fat Gas, Fast Gas there and visitor center. We both washed our hair and brush, like wash our face and cleaned up. And then drove back here yesterday and slept really well. Yeah, and then it was raining, and the tarp was really necessary. And wanted to do fire because there's so much firewood. 
somebody out of chopped it and here firewood is free but they're all big logs this morning we had coffee and made a tea too because we we're going to king's throne this morning it's a big hike also i paid for we paid just for another day so we don't have to move our camp this is breakfast we try to use olive oil as much as we can and then fried this wraps and also there's soup wow soup really helped us and with um, tomato cabbage onions I just and pepper they taste so good I did laundry and, and then go on a hike. I'll take our time. Today is the only day left to be sunny. No rain at all. And this morning bugs are not too bad. So, I think we're gonna enjoy our day. This is so good. So crispy. So, uh, roasted Costco pepper. roasted pepper uh, spices and salt in a bag. That's all we have. And there's Li Jinji Hai Xian Jiang hoisin sauce. This is just so good. Look at this. This is Kath the Kathleen Lake. It is so beautiful. Video is better. <laughs> Here it doesn't have a lot of bugs. We had breakfast. Now we're going to King's Throne Trail. Subscription. Is that his name? I mean script. Okay. As uh, how you how you do the the job? Is that you need a requirement, and uh, then you know how to do it. This is King's Throne. My back is glacier. It's so beautiful. And look, this. Yeah. Uh, this is the cook and video edit, video photography. Uh, we're photographer. He's gonna make videos. This has become our side job. <laughs> and then this was the decision I already made at the top of this hill, the trail. Look how beautiful this is. There is a summit. We can go. It takes us to four hours. I didn't bring food here. I just too hungry. So tired. After hiking for probably four hours. I was also hungry because we thought we shouldn't bring food, so I didn't eat anything till now. But then we had the best peach ever. Had two peaches each person. After uh, the hike it was amazing. Very cooking. Fried noodles. Now we boil spaghetti noodles. It's hard to boil. We didn't have a choice. Couldn't find uh, rice noodles or something easier. But I'm so excited to eat. Look at what we have.
It looks so good. Can't wait to eat. <laughs> Finally, we have fire. It's much wood for free. It's huge compared to the ones in B, uh, Alberta and and Manitoba. And and uh, we bought matches. We went to the dollar store just for the matches, and the matches didn't work. You scratch it, and then it has a, a little bit of smoke, and it was done. I'm really happy with fire. I feel like my camping trip is it, complete. He's very good at making fire, but he, does, he doesn't want to do it. Today is August 2nd, the last day we are going to hike and we are planning to go to Sheep River Creek, uh, one hour drive up north. Got up this morning, it rained last night, our, our tent was fine, nice and we were nice and dry inside. Uh, the tarp is so helpful and firewood were all wet. Mm. So when we got up, it was really cold. We started a fire with the wet wood using our stove. It was amazing. It was a fire, everything got better. I smoked, as mosquitoes went away. And we had hot coffee and tea. Now we're having the fire <coughs> and making breakfast. It looks so good. Fire is so nice and toasty, the best thing. Now we're going to have fire and breakfast. What's this? Bean. And cabbage. Soup. It's gonna be so good. Also Mexican. Mm -hmm. And chips with soup. So good. So excited for your breakfast. Look. Wow. I'm gonna have this. We're at somewhere close to um, Chai Yu, uh, the visitor center. And nobody is here. Isn't that nice? This is the Sheep River, Sheep Creek Trail, Sheep River Creek Trail.